You guys, it's 7.45 at night and this is the first time I'm picking up my camera. <sighs> Today's been a little hard. Uh, you know, it's been easy for me because I've been staying busy and just like, even when I've been home the few times, I've just had a lot to do and I still have a lot to do now. But since now I've been home several days, uh, it just like starts to set in just everything of like, well, Harold's not here for that and this and that. So today was a little bit hard and nothing really interesting happened. So I was like, I just didn't even feel like picking up the camera to be honest. I was just cleaning, literally doing lots of laundry, editing like four videos, trying to work on those for when I'm going on my adventures. So anyways, I was feeling pretty down. I was taking the puppies out and I checked the mail just cause I checked the mail and you guys, I got a postcard from Harold from Everest. Like. Let me just make sure they're not eating my computer cords. Um, and I haven't even read it yet, so I was like, okay, well, I have to actually vlog this. So I just was so shocked. Like, I honestly couldn't even believe it. Um, so anyways, he, let's see, he says, Dear honey, just wanted to send you some love from Kathmandu, Everest. Think, okay, Ranger, trying to read this for me, Daddy. Thanks for being such a great teammate. Honestly, I'm missing you immensely more than I thought and I can't wait to see you stay strong. <laughs> I miss him, you guys. Okay, Ranger, I love you. Okay, hold on. I just really, really, really miss him now. And I know, like, it'll, you know, it's gonna get better because I did, like, make all these plans and stuff, and so that's definitely gonna keep my mind off of it. And I'm actually really glad that my mom and my grandma are coming tonight. I mean, it's already like eight o'clock, but they're coming like pretty later because <laughs> they were stopping to go do stuff. Um, but I don't know, just something about like being home without him is the absolute hardest. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry that this, this is starting off pretty sad, <laughs> I guess. But this is just like what's going on. I'm just having a hard time right now. Um, so yeah, I, I miss my honey. <sighs> and I'm kind of waiting on his phone call too because normally he calls around this time and this is gonna be, so starting after like t today or tonight or whatever, he said he probably like won't be able to call except for like every other day and that's kind of on like a a good note you know it could be like longer especially when he's actually climbing and stuff like that um so there's a car in front of my house <laughs> um i'm just anxious to hear from him and he hasn't called yet so i'm a bit emotional you guys i know it's good that when i'm feeling my you know emotions and feeling sad sometimes is to just let it out and you know that's healthy um but i like just don't even want to like go down that road like i got emotional last night watching the movie and stuff but then i quickly like got out of it and i tried not to think of it i just tried like the emotions really came from the movie you know um so i try not to dwell on it when i am upset because i just feel like if i do allow myself to like let everything in right now then it's just gonna be so hard um especially especially because it's like yeah he's coming home after this oh man a woman is walking <laughs> walking up to my next door neighbor my doors or my windows wide open um it would be easier if you know he was coming home after this and was gonna be home but it's like He's coming home and then like a couple weeks later he's gonna go to ranger school and like that's a minimum of two months and most of the time a lot longer i just saw a post from you know one of our friends who just now is graduating from ranger school and he you know hadn't seen his fiance since january and of course then you know it's like our friends are deploying and otherwise it's like their husbands are deployed just all of that just like anytime something like this is going on it that's when all of that stuff like comes to my brain you know because i'm like it's not like i'm just getting over this like one hurdle you know and then it's all gonna be good it's like this is literally like my life you know like i'm in a constant my husband's away and that sucks <laughs> it really sucks oh i'm kind of sweating now so maybe we'll catch back in a little bit maybe i'll read a letter in a second but i don't really want to dwell on it and i feel like that's what i'm doing right now so i'm gonna stop 
So I was getting my Bible out to spend some time with God and I kind of have a lot of like note cards and just random stuff all throughout my Bible and I think I've even read this on a vlog before um, but one of the note cards that was just sitting right on top was just something that I really needed to hear so I just figured I would share it with you. Um, it says, in essence, there is only one thing God asks of us, that we be men and women of prayer, people who live close to God, people for whom God is everything and for whom God is enough. That is the root of peace. We have that peace when the gracious God is all we seek. When we start seeking something besides him, we lose it. Um, and that's just what I want to do, you guys. I just want to seek God. I want to live close to him. I want to be a woman of prayer. Um, and I just know, like, through, through everything that I have to go through, like, I can't do it alone. You know, people say all the time, like, if you, like, God wouldn't give you something you're not strong enough to handle, like that saying, and I never liked that saying, because it's like, I know I can't handle it. I'm not strong enough to handle it, but I know that God is. Um, so it's not God's giving me something that I can't handle. I, I really can't handle it, but if I, you know, get my strength from God then I can and it has to be me and God you know otherwise I just couldn't do it and I think that on a daily basis I'm like I just don't know how people do life without God I honestly I just don't know because I couldn't do it um so yeah I just wanted to share that with you because it's something that I needed to hear so maybe it's something that you needed to hear as well you guys I just read a letter from my sister-in-law <laughs> Oh, I love her so much. <laughs> I think you guys all know Liz. Um, Liz is one of the most amazing women that I know. And her faithfulness in God is so strong. Um, and she's always so inspiring to me. And just... Man, God is so good. God, you're so good. Like, he just knew. He knew, like, I was having a hard day today. He knew for whatever reason, like, I needed to read that postcard today to read these words to see that card in my Bible. He just knew this is what I needed. Oh. You guys, the very first sentence of this letter, it's from Laura Pinner, if you're watching this. I love you. It says, the covering and protection of God is surrounding you right at this moment, and for you, precious beloved. I don't know if that was meant to be your precious beloved, um, but right at this moment, right at this moment. Um, okay, I'll read the rest. I find peace in knowing that the Lord is being glorified in and through you by each step of faith and obedience that you take every moment of every day. The scripture that comes to mind is Jeremiah 29 11. Trust in that he knows what is in store for you and that you will be equipped to handle any challenge. Stand firm with the armor of God daily. You be the light and love the world so desperately needs to see. I believe that when you walk into a room, Rachel, <laughs> It's flee. The Spirit of God is so radiant from your very presence that darkness must hide and you illuminate the emptiness and void. I'm praying for you, Angel. <laughs> Patrick, this is one of Harold's friends um, who played baseball and was one of his groomsmen. You guys, I just feel really, really loved. I know, um, gosh, this is such an emotional vlog, I'm sorry. I know that I've said it before, um, that, you know, I'm so grateful for the community, um, and the support system that I have, um, oh, wow. Wow, you guys, just, I don't think I even fully understood 
like just how great it was. I didn't understand, you know, that the impact that each and every individual in this community that I have would impact me, you know, like through these letters. Like it's so interesting to to open them. Like I just picked three random ones, like having no idea. Like I still have no idea who wrote all these letters, and just to know, like that person took time out of their day to write me this letter and to like pour their heart out and to care for me and to want me to you know feel supported and loved um so i do <laughs> feel really supported and loved um, so thank you <laughs> sorry that you have to watch me cry angel are you tired are you tired tracker not up there i'm trying to teach you guys not to be on the couch it's not working huh okay so update you guys it is now 10 30 i've got a pretty bad headache probably from crying um, but I finally finished making the guest bedroom because my mom and my grandma are on the way they're not gonna get here till 12 30 though but y'all I'm not to go to bed which I'm gonna have to wake up when they get here but y'all I'm tired puppies are tired so I think everything is ready to go it just took forever because y'all we still don't have a dryer so yeah sheets are just a hassle I'm like please dry please dry please dry uh, so yeah, they're gonna be here, but to be honest, I don't know. Maybe I'll vlog, maybe I won't. If I don't end up vlogging, then I'll just end this in the morning because there's a, a chance that I might vlog when they get here, but I'll probably be a zombie, although I already look disgusting. Promise tomorrow maybe I'll, I'll look a little bit better and I'll be a little more chipper. It's not that I'm in a bad mood. I don't wanna like put off the wrong thing. It's like, today was hard, but today, made me feel really grateful and really loved and just like really showed me like how awesome my support system is and how awesome our god is and, and stuff like that so all in all great day raise your hand if it was a great day <laughs> okay i'm weird uh so so it was good you know sometimes it's important to have those days because you can learn from them so anyways point is going to bed right now but maybe i'll be back in a little bit We'll see. Good morning, guys. I'm still trying to open my eyeballs. <laughs> uh, so, I did not finish the video last night, <laughs> but my mom and grandma ended up coming at 12.30 last night, and Harold made it to Everest Base Camp. I heard from him at like 2.30 in the morning, and I just, I did not sleep, you guys. I had so much on my mind. I was thinking, I was just like, so excited for him like i could just feel the excitement so and i hadn't even spoke to him yet. i mean he just texted me and said that they were there and i was just i just stayed awake and just thinking of how proud i was because you guys he finally made it to everest base camp like he's been planning this for so long um so i can just only imagine what he's feeling like actually being there on everest um so yeah, and then of course I was thinking about Ireland and Colorado and Guatemala and I'm like looking at places like on my phone, like all this stuff. Um, but yeah, so I just figured I'd come in here and end the video. Thanks for watching. Sorry, uh, yesterday this vlog was a tad bit emotional, but you know, hey, that's life and, and that's life. And that's my life really really that's that's my life um but today's today's looking up you guys got my mom and grandma i don't know what we're gonna do but it's always good uh for me to have you know people to keep my mind off things and to stay busy and stuff as long as i'm not doing like the same old same old you know everyday day-to-day -day life that is typical when harold is actually here then i'm pretty good because then i'm doing stuff that's just just okay for me to do but when it's stuff that it's like no I literally do this with Harold that's when it's really hard for me so yep anyways I'll stop rambling thanks for watching I'll see you guys tomorrow in today's coming new vlog yeah that I'm gonna film today <laughs> I'm still really tired okay guys love God love people make a difference and be thankful see you tomorrow